I had a client the other day that had osteoporosis and she was complaining about a lot of mid-back fatigue and pain just by simply doing the dishes. She was bent over her sink, doing her dishes, doing a little cooking, and she just talks about how she's having a lot of pain through here. So if this is happening to you and you have osteoporosis, I have a simple test at home that you can do. It could mean that maybe you have some weakness of these posterior chain or these back muscles. Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Ed Dubu, physical therapist. Elizabeth Dubu, physical therapist. And today she's gonna to be so nice to be our model. So we're talking about how with my osteoporotic patients is sometimes they have this weakness in this middle part of the back through here. So all you need for this is two pound weights, okay? So you've got the two pound weights. What I want you to do is curl it up, perfect. And now bring it straight out. Keep that core nice and tight. And I'm starting the stopwatch and she needs to hold that there for two minutes. They've done studies on this test to see if people that have osteoporosis have weakness and the ones that typically have trouble holding it for at least two minutes do have some back weakness through here that could be contributing to some of that pain that you experience while you're doing upper extremity or arm work. How's it feeling? Woo! <laughs> Super easy? No, it is not. Yeah. We have five pounds. I know. We forgot the two pounder <laughs> at home, but you're using two pounds at home. I'm using she's, two five pounds. She's got five pounds at home, okay? I got five pounds in my hands. <laughs> That's right. She got five pounds right here in her hands. And then you can slowly bring them down. So let's just say that she wasn't able to do it because that really wasn't I fair. don't know if I could have done that for two minutes though. I know. That was five pounds. But remember, you're only going to use two pounds at home. Um, but let's say, for example, someone mm. does have trouble with that. They have osteoporosis. And so, you know, uh, I'll put another video up here of movements that they're supposed to avoid, you know, with osteoporosis, right? A lot of that forward yeah. flexion and traditional sit-ups and things. And so mm -hmm. um, from a clinical standpoint, uh, what are some strengthening things do we, that, that you would kind of think about for if someone does have weakness through here? Yeah, yeah. Well, I personally like a lot of anti-gravity Mm -hmm. exercises and what that means is something against gravity <laughs> so we would get on the floor and we would use these posterior chain muscles against gravity well, let's do it okay let's do it posterior chain that means the back muscles everything from the top of the head to the feet and I'll show you what I mean by that but we're gonna be strengthening those these are just some examples of ones that I love because it doesn't take any equipment you don't even have to have a yoga mat. Um, and there's a really nice progression from the least strenuous to maximum strenuous for anti-gravity. And I'm gonna show you what those are. The first one we're gonna do is called the crocodile. And this one, the least amount of strain going into the spine. So what I want you to do is I want you to just start here. You can either fist your two hands and put them under your forehead. And what we want is your legs to be activated. So start by getting your head propped and then you're going to press your toes, really your toenails and contract your lower legs, contract your glutes, squeeze your butt and then pull your shoulder blades down and tuck your chin. And you will right away feel all those back muscles from the top of your head to your heels contracting. You might hold that for five seconds and then relax. And then just enjoy the posture without any tension going through the muscles. The progression of that would be moving on to sphinx position. And here in sphinx, you can just hang out in sphinx. Just feel how this feels to you. If extension doesn't feel good in your back, then I want you to squeeze your bottom together. And that should take some of the tension out of your low back. But again, we're gonna start, press your toes, your toenails into the floor, contract your calves, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your bottom together, and then take your shoulder blades down and, and squeeze them into your back pocket and tuck your chin. And then you're gonna hold that for five seconds and release, kind of a relaxed sphinx, and then do it again. And I would say you can do any of these up to five repetitions just to kind of keep it within a reasonable time. Now the progression from Sphinx is to go into a full Cobra. Now before you begin to move, I want you to squeeze your bottom, contract your calves, 
Press your toenails, squeeze your bottom together, okay? Nice, really big contraction so that when we press up and we straighten our elbows, we're not bending and hinging at the low back, but we have our butt squeezed. And so this is just a nice extension exercise instead of just hinging at the back and creating a lot of tension at one place in the back. And you'll hold this for five seconds and then go down into Sphinx. Relax everything, move your body a little bit. Then start by pressing your toenails, contracting your calves, contract your, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your glutes, and then press up and extend your elbows, tuck your chin, pull your shoulder blades down into your back pocket. And then once again, relax everything back into Sphinx. Now remember the test itself can be used as, as a strengthening exercise as well too. And so you could stand up there and hold those weights up through there. Remember scalp in the back pocket like Elizabeth talked about, engage the core and you can hold it there and time yourself and work your way up. Maybe you're doing three 30 second intervals. And you can even do that without weights. If, if two pounds is too much That's and true. you can't hold it, yeah. you start with no weights and you just let the weight of your arms be the weights. Yeah, and then a can of soup is about one pound as well too, so you can use a can of soup. Yeah. Remember to learn more about osteoporosis as well as a whole host of other courses on posture, nutrition, yoga, Yoga. make sure you check out livewell50.com. If there's any questions, please leave it down below. If you found the video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing, and we will see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.